Alright, let's just do this shit. Let's talk about anal No, let's talk about something as good as anal league. We're at the Lone Star Rally, Galveston, Texas, 2013. Here with Gio, Mike Sr., Mike Jr., and they've got an amazing bike. The rally's starting to get packed on the corner now, and we're on this main thoroughfare, and all you're seeing is every person that walks by stops. Gio, what do you think of this thing, man? Oh, is this thing amazing? I'm thinking old school values. It's deep in my heart to come out. I'm thinking women are body in the back. I mean, that's it. That's it. Okay. Hey, look, you gotta chop them up. You gotta go old school. That's why the, the serving car boxes are small. Well, you know how I do. So I'm thinking body in the back, but I mean, precision, laid out. Look like it just rolled straight out of somebody's grandfather's basement. Yeah. So I'm thinking I can give up four of mine for one of these, then I'll ride on half. Yeah, yeah. ride right on for the rest of your life. But uh, like I said, now we're at Lisa Gears TV, Galveston, Lone Star Rally, Cycle Source uh, Chopper Show. We're on the main corner here on 21st Street in the seawall, and uh, we're just damn stopping traffic. People just walking by, not even paying attention. All of a sudden, you see their head stop, and everybody is stopping at this bike. I'm here with Mike Sr., Mike Jr., and, and as special as this bike is, just to see it and see the survivor, it's incredible. But this bike has got a history, apparently, like second to none. You want to start, Mike Sr.? Tell us about what, what this story of this scooter is, brother. Well, back in the 1971, my dad and I uh, seen it in the newspaper. It was for sale up in Mount Brook, New Jersey. It was a basket case. The dude was getting married. She didn't want it. Had to sell it. So we went there and we gave a deposit on it. Me and the old man went to uh, Manville Bowling Alley that night. Worked all night welding up the, the bowling lanes. Made the six hundred and fifty dollars for it, which was a lot of money back then. <laughs> and went back next morning and picked the book up and had it ever since. Uh, originally it was sold to uh, the Tampa Pontiac in Bamford, New Jersey. And on the uh, back of the trunk it had the Potamkin, I mean the Pontiac emblem, which was an Indian so on was a Harley. It, was it a it was a it was it was the shop? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the original tow bar to it too. Yeah, they even told him when they dropped the car off, and then he would, he would ride it yeah, back. Yeah. I'm a little young, but I ain't yeah, that damn yeah, young. Yeah, yeah. But I do recall. I see yeah. your history channel. I got your history channel on cable, and now this yeah. shit works. But yeah, it's badass, and that's exactly what they did. For you guys that don't know, one guy could run a car or a truck and literally hook up the certain car behind and go do whatever he had to do and never needed to ride back yeah. because he just unhitched it and took off. I mean, what, 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 what was the condition? No, when you got it, I mean, did it look like it? No, it was in boxes. It was, it was, was in boxes. Box. Oh, it was a bit of truck. A basket case. A basket case. My uh, brother-in-law painted it back in the 76. Okay. Uh, this is Amron. Yeah. Uh, we put it together. It was all basket case. It took us a few long. years yeah, right? to put together. We didn't have the internet back then. And books were even hard to come apart. When you don't take something apart, you try to put it together. It's kind of hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, we put it together and in the process I went back to Bound Brook Harley Davidson where it was originally sold from and I talked to the, uh, he, he was the owner of the dealership at the time, Otto, but when he was a kid his dad owned it, he took, he took this out of the crate and put this motorcycle together. Wow. In the back of the night he was still in high school and remembers the bike when I talked to him back in 74, 75 and uh, when we were putting it together. But yeah, it took us quite a few years. Like I said, there was no internet. Yeah, yeah. So the question is, though, when does he get it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm on your side right now. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on your side now. He's playing right Mike Sr.'s oh, death oh, right now. Like, okay. That's your oh, heart, man. I'm, I'm That's your saying, heart. Yeah. I, I know how it is sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, See, the, yeah. the absolute truth is, when I moved down here from New Jersey, uh, my, my, my wife and his mom uh, and his brother and I came down. We came down in a physical travel trailer. A year later, I, I, I built the trailer and went home to get my three-wheeler and wash the machine dryer and all that crap. And my dad wash the machine dryer. And, uh, 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 yeah. and my dad wouldn't let me take it because he was afraid. He was afraid I'd get in trouble and sell them. Uh, so actually, at that point in time, we gave it to my son. So I really don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you. Hey, so no cyanide soup for dinner with Dad tonight. Yeah, right. no. How much cyanide do you like in your soup, Dad? That's right. That's right. You know, you're looking at this. You're building crazy-ass modern. You're like on the cutting edge of everything that's coming. But I still got retro in but, my blood with yeah, everything. Yeah, man. So like when you look at some of this, what's the first thing that sticks out to you, man? Man, I want to tow this bike up behind like old school restaurant, lay down, pull up to the spot, park that shit in the hot rod show, and then go ride this on the seawall. That's, right. That's the kind of shit I be on. Yeah. But I mean, anything, basically I take the old old thoughts and I think of what new power plant I can kind of do the same thing with, but still, if you sat it next to it, you just like the restaurant rides, like we went big for restaurant rides about 20 years ago. Um, but then another part of me is just like, how assholey does somebody that knows me if I just kept it bone stop <laughs> and pulled out and ride with that attitude? Yeah. Yeah. Only telling all. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to let my hair down today. And, and and it's, it's, I've been, been trying to redo these down. shifters for a long time on, on something new and modern. You fucking kidding me? I mean, I like it when you just keep it raw, but I also like to try to pull something else, like pull the same thing into it. And I like it when like a young son can use his grandfather to pull against his dad to get another yeah. package meal. I got to try that shit because my dad, my grandfather, was old and I, I really got that one out yet. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's kick-ass, but the story behind it is like, you can't, you can't beat the story. No, you know, and, and what we always talk about is, is that, yeah, it, we're, we, well, it's the motorcycle that brings us all together, but what makes this all so special is the people that you meet, you know? Oh, yeah. You remember meeting Mike and Mike, and all of a sudden tells me that 10 years from now, we're going to be here with Mike and Mike. Right. And, and 20 years from now, Thanksgiving, we're going to be spending with Mike and Mike, and, you know, we'll remember the day that we met down here in Galveston because of this. I mean, we were laughing. We literally chased them across the street when they came pulling in. Like, this is like, that's cycle source. Yeah. That right there is cycle source. They wouldn't let us out of Yeah. And they made so cycle source, they didn't even want us here. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's us. That's us. Like, oh, yeah, oh, wait, come on, man. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, well, you went, cycle source. Yeah, just go down the road. Yeah. Like, seven Keep going. Yeah, get, get the to the end of the beer. Keep driving. So, Lone Star, Galveston, we put our own little touch on it today. And I think you guys really, man, exemplify what this shit is all about. Family, brotherhood, loyalty, history, and, and keeping it pure. It is just so bad. It's an honor and a pleasure, man. It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you, Mike. Gio, I'm trying to get you in my I'm going to get you in here, too, yeah. man. Gio, you wrap us up. Take us out, bro. All right, well, this is Gio. Of course, you know I hang out with all the Cycle Source crew. Recent Gears is how do we do it. Long Star Rally. Put us together. Boom. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Catch us next round. Gio! Uh -huh.